Brace Brackets, supplied by TreehouseSupplies.com, help you connect a wooden knee brace to a tab or large galvanized bolt in the tree. This video will guide you through the steps needed to construct and install the bracket and knee brace. Knee braces are a good way to support and stabilize a treehouse at the perimeter of a platform or to strengthen long cantilevers. The knee brace brackets are designed to attach to the bottom of a 4x6 or other appropriately sized brace and connect to the tree with a 1 inch or 1 and a quarter inch lag bolt. This gives the knee brace a clean look and minimizes the amount of interference with the tree over the next couple of decades of the tree's life. Well, let's get started. Before we build our knee brace, the platform should be in place and temporarily supported from the ground. Use a two foot or longer level right above where the knee brace will be installed to see if the joists are perfectly horizontal. Knee braces come down from the bottom of the joists into the tree at a 45 degree angle. With the help of a speed square and a friend, make a rough measurement of this distance and if unsure of yourself, make it somewhat longer because while you can cut boards shorter, you can't stretch them. This distance will be the length of the 4x6 you will need to purchase. Now that we have that all done, let's construct our knee brace. Starting on the end of our 4x6 with the 3 and a half inch side facing up, make a mark at 1 and 5 eighths and a mark at 2 inches. Now make these same two marks 9 inches from the end. Using a straight edge, draw two lines connecting these marks. Make these two lines on the very end and opposite side of the 4x6 using the same method. Now that the three sides are marked, we have the cut lines needed for making our notch for the knee brace bracket. Before grabbing the circular saw, use a drill with a half inch drill bit to cut a hole at the 9 inch mark and in the center of our 4x6. This makes getting the piece out much easier later on. Now use the circular saw to cut out the notch. Finish the parts inside where the circular saw can't reach with a reciprocating saw. Now that the notch is cut, Hold up the knee brace bracket in the center and mark where the two carriage bolts will go. Using a 5 8 bit, make two plumb holes at these marks. Now slide in the bracket and install the accommodating hardware. Great! It's now time to mark our top notch. With the help of a friend, hold the knee brace on a 45 degree angle against the tree and bottom of the joist you want it to support. If the joist is on an angle to the tree, you will need to install a board under the joists that is parallel with the tree for the knee brace to sit on. Now, make a mark at the top where the knee brace will fit into. With a speed square, Draw a 45 degree line starting at the mark you made. Now, make an opposite 45 degree mark that measures about one and a half inches like so. If you are using 2x6 for joists, you may need to cut the top point of the knee brace for it to fit under the flooring. Great, your knee brace is cut. Now comes the installation. Again, with the help of a friend and checking that the platform you're installing under is level or even slightly high to account for the small amount of settling of the bracket into the tree, hold the knee brace in place and screw the top in. Now, depending on if you are using a 1 inch or a 1 and a quarter inch lag bolt, use an appropriately sized auger bit with a low speed high torque drill to make the hole into the tree about six and a half inches deep. 
When the hole is cut, insert the lag bolt and use a 1.875 inch ratchet to turn the bolt in fully. Congratulations, you're done.